Hi guys, welcome to a van tour of this L3 H2 Citroen Relay. It's in our Kunu model with lots of high spec upgrades. Let's take a look inside. The clients have three dogs and they'll be living up in Scotland in the van full time whilst they build their dream house. They're gonna be after this traveling mainly around Scotland and we've tailored the van to their specific needs. The van is a Citroen Relay L3 H2 called Rafiki and it's based on our Kunu layout with some really high upgrade options. My favorite ones are the wraparound Raptor skirt on the outside of the van, the cement effect Dumatars in the shower cubicle, the Starlink, which is a first time install for us, giving them really high speed Wi-Fi connectivity and also the reverse osmosis drinking water filter that we've added into this system. There are so many upgrades on the outside of this van. If you have a look, we've got the Raptor paint, which is on the skirt of the van to give it that really rugged look, coupled with the off-grid all-terrain uh, BF Goodrich tires. They've also got an electric step in the doorway, an awning and an awning light above the doorway. And up on the roof, we've got a 540 watt rigid frame solar panel so they can be off-grid for lengths at a time. Having three dogs in this van, the customer wanted a tie point. So we've added this one outside the van onto the chassis a D clip so they can uh, put their lead on there. And we've also got one in the doorway and at the back of the van as well. By having this D clip outside the van underneath, you can close the door and still have the dog on a tie. In the cab of the van, we've got these really nice Agouti captain seats. There's also this passenger table so they can have their laptop work whilst looking outside the sliding door. There's a Harris Tweed bespoke curtain, which is the blackout curtain in the evening so that they can obviously get that privacy and that extra insulation. And they've also opted for the Remis cab lines so they can again put the cab lines across and have that added space and extra privacy. We've also fitted a Wolfbox reversing camera, but it also has a built in dash cam as well. That's on permanent record. Before we look into the shower cubicle, I just thought I'd mention the hardware. The customer selected these really nice black handles for all of the doors on the shower door and all the cupboard fronts. They're really hard wearing and look great. So let's have a look in the shower cubicle. You can see on the back of the sliding door, we've got this full length mirror, which is really useful with a couple of hooks as well. The cubicle walls are a concrete style Dumatile and we love the effect that these give. There's a niche on the back wall for your shower gels a vent in the ceiling with a touch down light and a cubby hole for you to store all your towels and toilet rolls in the top corner. Moving down there's an Ogo composting toilet and bamboo duckboard and in the bottom corner there's a heat vent so you can turn the shower cubicle into a drying room. Moving behind the shower cubicle we've got these two overhead cupboards here which have got plenty of space for storage And on the end of the cupboards, we've got this open shelf here with your max fan remote, which is above the bed. That blows air both in and out of the van and helps with the ventilation. And there's also a couple of touch displays, one for your Truma boiler and one for your Victron um, system. So this touch display here is where you're gonna be monitoring all of your electrics, working out how much solar you're getting in from the panel and also what loads you're using, both DC and AC. There's also solenoid switch for your gas bottle. So you can turn the gas bottle on and off from inside the van. And there's also a level sensor as well. So you can see how full that tank is. So the kitchen unit has a lovely oak bamboo worktop. It's got a sink insert. You can obviously have added workspace when you when you need to use it for prep. There's a nice large uh, undermounted sink here in grey and a couple of taps. This is your hot and cold water tap and this little tap here is specific for your drinking water as well. As I mentioned there's a reverse osmosis filter in the garage and there's a little switch down here so we can turn that on and off and that produces drinking quality water um, it remineralizes to make really nice tasting water as well. We've got the Thetford Triplex oven which has three hobs on the top and an oven and grill underneath. We really like this appliance especially if you're doing a lot of winter van lifing um, because it's again when solar yields are down you can rely on the gas obviously for your cooking uh, and you're not dependent on, on your batteries and things like that. There's a cutlery drawer here with a lovely oak divider inside 
And then the drawers underneath, we've got a bin cupboard, a pots and pans drawer, storage under the sink, and then the boiler unit itself, where you can access the drain down valve when you need to winterize the van. In the middle of the gangway, we've got a large drawer here for extra storage. And there's also a Dometic NRX 80 litre fridge, which is a compressor fridge running off of the batteries and solar, which has a large capacity inside and a freezer compartment as well. We have the seating area here with a fixed box seat, which has got plenty of storage inside and a moving box seat here. So there's multiple configurations that you can have as a bench or you can slide them apart and sit opposite one another and with the lagoon table leg here we've got multiple mounting options as well so that you can uh, change up how you want to have your setup in the seating area this box seat can also form a third child's bed which is 60 centimeters wide and one meter 60 long all of our cushions have been custom made with fabric selected by our customers. This is a Harris Tweed. We've got three different types for the curtains and the cushions, and we're really happy with how they look. And it's a nice nod to where they're moving to in Scotland when they live in the van. So the bed is a standard double with an Emma mattress, which the customer selected themselves. It's one meter 35 wide and one meter 90 long. And we've recessed at the head and the foot of the bed. At the foot of the bed, we've also added this universal vent window for additional views and ventilation. There's also at the foot, three more overhead cupboards for storage on gas struts. And at the head of the bed, we've got two reading lights that have USB sockets in the base as well for charging your mobile phones. Above the bed, there's a max air fan, which provides ventilation. Uh, it can blow air in and out of the van. And there's also a couple of windows in the back doors and some curtains so you can draw them uh, when you need to settle in for the night. Looking into the garage space of Rafiki, we can see this really high spec electrical setup. It's powered by a 320 amp hour lithium battery from Roma. This is our standard uh, supplier and we've been really impressed with the quality of their product. We've also got a inverter charger here from Victron. This is the 3kVA Multi Plus. It can power 2,400 watts of continuous AC current whilst you're off grid. There are three chargers that we put into our systems. The primary is this MPPT here, and that supplies a, a charge to the batteries using the solar power up on the roof. The secondary method is this DC DC charger here and that will charge the batteries when you're driving the vehicle. And the third method is to plug the van in at a campsite or at home, and the MultiPlus will provide a charge to the batteries from that supply. Middle unit here is the fridge unit, and you can see there's a ventilation um, cover there. We've also got some more space for vehicle jack and the hookup cable and other bits and bobs. Above the wheel arch on this offside, we've got the off-grid water reverse osmosis filter. You can gain access to those filters and change them every 12 months, uh, dependent on how much you're using that drinking water tap. And then at the back here, we have got the Starlink router, which is powered from the 230 volt sockets just down here. So in the external shower point compartment, we've got this adapted hose here, which is by a company called Mud Daddy, and it's used for washing down their dogs and it's got a handy little brush on it. Thanks for watching this fan tour of Rafiki. I hope you found it useful. I'll see you next time.